Hello, English learners, and welcome to English Pod. My name is Marco. I'm Amira. All right, Amira is here today, and she is going to tell us about the wonderful lesson she has prepared this time. Well, thank you, Marco. Well, today we have a very interesting lesson prepared for you. It's about someone cutting in line. Cutting in line, okay. Yeah, it happens all the time and we all get very upset about it, but you know, it happens. Right, right. Well, I imagine that everyone is wondering what cutting in line is. Why don't we just listen to the dialogue one time? And then when we come back, Amira and I will gladly explain all the vocabulary in this dialogue. Let's listen. I can't believe it took us two hours to get here. The traffic in New York is unbelievable. Yeah, but just relax, honey. We're here and we're going on vacation. In a few hours, we'll be in Hawaii and you'll be on the golf course. Oh, no, look at that line. It must be a mile long. There's no way I'm waiting for another two hours. Honey, don't. Hey, man, the end of the line is over there. Yeah. No, seriously, I was here first, and you can't cut in line like this. Says who? I do. So sue me. All right, that's it. <clears throat> Whoa, I think there's punching. Yeah, yeah. I guess this guy was he's just a crazy, I don't know, impatient man, huh? Yes, yes. But we don't want to talk about this now. But for now, we will treat some of the vocabulary and very useful phrases in the dialogue. Great. So, Marco, do you want to start? Yes. Let's take a look at our first word would be unbelievable. 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 Exactly. And just how you say it, it's something incredible, something amazing. Yeah, but I would like to point out that unbelievable was used here to describe the man's frustration. He's not happy about the traffic in New York. Exactly. Perfect. Okay, in the next part, the woman, she's trying to calm and relax her husband. And she says that they, um, they'll be in Hawaii in a few hours and um, you'll be on the golf course right so we'll be in Hawaii and you'll be on the golf course yes we'll be in Hawaii and you'll be on the golf course so this is a great way of talking about your physical location in the future right so for example Amira tomorrow where will you be Don't worry, Marco. I'll be in the office tomorrow. Perfect, right? That's where I need you to be. Yes. Okay. So All right. Well, I have another interesting phrase here for you. Must be a mile long. A mile long. A mile long. A mile long. Now, that's basically not a mile. It's not a kilometer long, but it's another way of saying that this line is really, really long. Right, it's just an exaggeration. Um, now let's li take a look at there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Perfect. Let's uh, listen to some other examples on how uh, we use there's no way in a different situation, and then we can come back and talk about it a little bit more. There's no way I can have those reports finished today. The stadium is so crowded that there's no way we'll find a seat. Do you think Michael's going to buy that house? There's no way he has enough money to buy it. Right, everyone. So there's no way is another way of saying it is impossible. Exactly. There's no way you should miss this podcast, right? Yes. Well, I have another phrase for you as well. Cut in line. Cut in line. Cut in line. Cut in line. Cut in line 
So again, we have some really good examples on how you could use this phrase in different situations. Let's listen to the examples and then we can come back and talk about it some more. Excuse me, I'm really late. Can I cut in line, please? I hate it when people cut in line at the bank. It's so rude. I think it's okay when a pregnant woman cuts in line. All right, everyone. Cut in line. Right. So from the examples, we can understand that it means when you are standing in line somewhere and somebody gets in front of you. Right. I have another phrase for you here. Sue me. Sue me. Sue me. Sue me. Okay, now, sue me is not a nice phrase. <laughs> If you hear that, you know you're in trouble. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of rude, I guess, to say, sue me. Right. Well, it actually means, like, taking someone to court and asking for money because someone has harmed you, in a way. I think that we should listen to the dialogue one more time and try to figure out why he used that phrase and if he's really going to take him to court. I can't believe it took us two hours to get here. The traffic in New York is unbelievable. Yeah, but just relax, honey. We're here and we're going on vacation. In a few hours, we'll be in Hawaii and you'll be on the golf course. Oh, no, look at that line. It must be a mile long. There's no way I'm waiting for another two hours. Honey, don't. Hey, man, the end of the line is over there. Yeah. No, seriously, I was here first and you can't cut in line like this. Says who? I do. So sue me. All right, that's it. <clears throat> All right, we're back. Now, this guy, when he says, sue me, he's just being rude. I mean, he's just being uh, kind of... Impolite. Impolite and telling him, I don't care. Right, right? exactly. Like, you, like, you can't do anything about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, today in the studio, we have a guest. Uh, her name is Sarah, and she's from England. Hi there. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right. So um, we're going to be asking her a couple of questions and she'll be a frequent guest on our show. So you can expect to hear from her a lot. Well, she didn't know that. <laughs> it's, it's a, yeah, it's a surprise. But. She knows now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sarah, uh, our topic today is about jumping the queue. Okay, Amira, wait, what is this uh, jump the queue? It's the same as cut in line, but in British English. Ah, okay. Yes, queuing. Uh, it's very important in England. We're very proud of uh, our queues. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true. So, so what would be the reaction of people if they, like, you know, cut in line? I think we do take it very seriously. I'm laughing now, but it's, it's, quite, it's quite serious. So you don't jump the queue. If people, you know, uh, jump in front of you, it's, uh, you get a little tuts and sort of, oh, you know, you shouldn't, shouldn't be doing that. And, and we make it very obvious. And in the So you say it out loud? We, we would, uh, you know, perhaps say something. And we have systems, you know, in London on the, uh, on the metro. Um, on, on the underground, you have to stand on the, the escalators on the right and, and queue, and you can't jump in front. You have to walk on the left and queue on the right. And it's all wow. very serious. There's, there's rules and regulations. <laughs> wow. so. Is there like a queue handbook that oh. you have to read in high school and kind of take a test on? Perhaps there should be. <laughs> there should be, yeah. Wow. What about New York, Marco? Well, no, definitely, I guess this um, dialogue is similar to a reality of New York. If somebody gets in front of you or cuts the line, somebody's going to say something and probably end up in a fight if uh -oh. the guy is rude. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, uh, Sarah, why don't you tell us, is there a line or a queue for almost everything in England? It seems like we do just like to form a queue, yeah. So, um, you know... Can um, you think of, like, some other examples of where you would... Normally, you wouldn't queue, but you do? 
Oh, gosh. Um, things like in the supermarket, when you're trying to find some vegetables or something, I'd never push, I'd never sort of reach round or anything. I'd just oh, really? wait until that person had finished picking up their stuff and then, and then go in. So oh. just, just try and... So if like five people want to buy oranges but, at the supermarket, <laughs> then you have a little mini queue <laughs> maybe, of five people maybe <laughs> waiting. There's no, there's no sort of just shoving through it to the front. You just don't do that. <laughs> so you don't stick your hand out and grab like a tomato. Well, if you or... do, again, you, you would make sure that that person knows. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm you know just um, in a hurry or whatever. But yeah, it's just letting someone go before you is a courtesy. I think okay. it's quite important to us. All right, right. Great well, stuff. Thank you so much, Sarah. It's a pleasure. Yeah, we'll have you back very soon. Oh. So, all right, we're out of time, but we'll be back tomorrow with another lesson. And be sure to visit our website. Don't forget that EnglishBot.com has many, many resources and uh, also a community of users and teachers that can uh, help you answer questions and uh, interact with you. Yes, and you should definitely leave your suggestions. But for now, I wish you all well. And bye. bye. bye.